Hello, sweet souls. This is part two. Um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender or anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So this is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go back and watch part one. Um, but we are just going to do another round here. So current situation, you're in alignment. Um, and someone's heartbroken. Current situation. Yeah, you see, someone's heartbroken. Um, they're surrounded by chaos and conflict, or they're trying to cause chaos and conflict. They're very jealous because you've walked away. You walked away. And I feel like this is an energy that can't get a response or reaction from you. It's this Knight of Cups, this love bomber, this non-committal energy. Someone that refuses to heal or do any work. Their light is is so dim it's like there's not much light left in this person it's really sad they've been deceived um the challenge um is this person's heartbroken because all the plots and plans they had is going up in smokes going up in flames the tower um because god is showing this person mercy god wants this person to heal this person is refusing to listen Yeah, and what makes it worse is you're this proud, confident, independent lady or man of luxury, nine of pentacles, and you're calling in a true leader, a king of wands, Aries Leo Sag, someone that's a true leader, someone with that's going to grow, that's going to support you, and that's going to love you. This is a soulmate. And so that's another challenge for this person. They can't get to you, but not only are you in light, strong, rooted in your faith, but you're calling in someone that's like-minded. A soulmate, high level divine soulmate that is meant to co-create with you and spend the rest of your life with you is a challenge for this person. Yeah, look, Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Queen and King of Wands. I've got to I've got to pull that out. That is your your match. And somehow this person is having the awareness that it's really over. It's it's really over. There is no coming back from this. It's a final death. In the focus, someone is focused on this ending. They can't move on from it. And they're going to stay in that stuck energy until they wake up. Until they have uh, accept the enlightenment that the God's giving them. About who they are. What they have done. Focus. Focus. Yeah. See, you're focused on what co-creating with God, creating whatever God's guiding you to create and moving on. And it is truly over. Death, death again. They know that you are moving on. They know that you are focused on what God is guiding you to create. And this person, they know that it's over. Six of Cups. This person um, can't stop remembering because you, you love this person. And they let the enemy destroy your family dynamic. In the past, you were carrying a heavy burden, um, but you healed so that you could drop that burden. And God showed you the truth about this love bomber that was a, a manipulator and why you needed to walk away. Past energy. And block this person from your energy. This person was siphoning your energy. Past. Yeah. This person abandoned or rejected you tried to put you in financial ruin and for that justice will be served those scales will be balanced whatever ex you experienced in the past is going to be made right we have justice out here this is a very serious message today guys this is a very serious message and it's a message for collective to stay on your light because the enemy is working overtime but it's also a message of god's mercy for a person from the past that tried to destroy you and others that tried to destroy you you know it's just eye-opening. Your strength is blocking these people that have tried to defeat you. Your intuition, you being rooted in your faith, you having perfect clarity, and your divine protection is your strength. Strength for the collective, please. Yeah, co-creating with God. Three of Pentacles is your strength. Co-creating with God. One more, please, for strength. 
Yeah. And with the hangman here, you are enlightened. You've taken the time that you needed. Um, and I'm also getting your strength is causing someone else to be stuck. You're enlightened, but someone else is stuck. They can't get beyond. They can't get beyond your walls, your protection. Um, near future, someone is in a nightmare. This is justice because you are in your path and purpose and you're having victory and success. Public recognition. People are noticing you. People are appreciating your contribution um, in whatever way. All right. Near future for the collective. Yeah, see, this came out on the fence. The Seven of Swords is being blocked. They can no longer cheat, lie, and steal from you. Because Page of Cups, God's blessed you with a brand new beginning. A fresh start. And now you're in your power, Queen of Swords. You're speaking the truth and cutting this energy out. Whether it's in the physical or the spiritual realm, this person, the blockages, they can't cheat, lie, and steal. They have no access to you in any way, not in the physical, not in the spiritual. They cannot touch you. And they know it. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Wow. All right. The f advice. This person, all their, uh, whatever they they have done to interfere with your gift, they're bringing in a tower. You are still going to receive what you deserve because you are this empress. You did your work and you elevated. Advice. Give me one more, please. Yeah. This is the same person from your past that should have been in alignment with you. Um, this person fell from grace. This person presents to an image as an emperor to the world. But in reality, this person is a false emperor. They're controlling, they're dominating, and they are being hit by karma. Because with the two of wands, this person was misguided and went down the wrong path. They were tempted to go down the wrong path. Yeah, seven of pentacles. This person was making all these plots and plans and they were tempted by the enemy. That's exactly what I'm getting. Um, in the environment, people, people can see that you're moving on to peace. They can also see that this person is tied to the devil that they were fed an illusion. They know why you walked away. That you've taken a brand new leap of faith and you're taking your power back. I don't know how I read that before. But um, I think I read it as giving to multiple, which is still came out. But it's a six of swords. I'm still getting used to this deck. But um, they see you're moving on to peace. That this person is in devil energy. Very toxic. And that they're in an illusion. That you're moving on. Taking a brand new leap of faith and you're in your full power. That's how the environment is seen. Um, they're seeing that this person's life has taken a dumpster dive, that they're, they have become more greedy, more lustful, more deceptive, more toxic. It's like the goodness has left this person. Yeah. I mean, it's like this person makes all these plots and plans. And I feel like with the four of swords, people are getting tired of this person's schemes. They're getting tired of this person. Yeah. Yeah. They are four cups. They're getting bored with this person's deceptive energy. They're getting bored. I felt it and there's the four of cups to prove it. Someone from the past, six of cups, that's constantly juggling people, constantly making up plots, plans, and schemes. Wow. All right. In the hopes and fears, this person's afraid that, you know, you're too rooted in your faith and that you are going to receive your wishes and dreams, that they're going to be exposed for all the lying, cheating, and stealing. They're also afraid because you have you're you have this new beginning and you're mastering a skill and it's paying off for you. Yeah. As things pick up for you with the Eight of Wands, quickly, this person feels more trapped. They feel more trapped. Yeah, the blockage is there in a nightmare. They're in a nightmare. <sighs> yeah.
Yeah. And so they're also afraid is what's happening quickly. For those of you that have not aligned with your partner, you are being elevated to the queen of pentacles and you're going to have a divine union, a marriage, four of wands, a long-term commitment, someone that is meant to co-create with you and they can't prevent it and they're afraid. A uh, potential outcome, the blockages, you're too protected by the spiritual realm. You're this empress. God's given you perfect truth and clarity and you have the ten of cups, a happy home, a happy life. Because you place your priorities where it's supposed to be, which is in the Lord. You're not focused on sex. You're not focused on wealth. You're focused on the Lord. And you know that when you do that, everything's going to be taken care of. Potential outcome. Look at this. And your past person made an investment thinking they were going to be wealthy with the Ten of Pentacles. This was a lie of the devil. This was, this person was tempted and deceived to make the wrong decision. And they lost everything by doing it. Yep, tempted by a third party. This was the devil that did this. Because this was, this person was promised riches. And that's exactly how this person was tempted. Riches and fun loving, free life. It was a lie going to lead to heartbreak and it's going to happen quick this person is going to be in so much regret and you are the high priestess you may have warned this person wow that's crazy all right you know we don't wish ill on anyone you know we don't but i can see god's mercy all over this reading you know this person may have lost you but they still have an opportunity to save their soul. And that's what this is about, is God's mercy. And God is validating to you what you went through was not all in your head. This was definitely a spiritual war for your soul, for your soul. You know, when the devil started to use this person to um, tempt you, destroy you, the devil, the, the intention was for the devil to get rid of you so that you would lose your soul because you you carried this bright light and for some of you it almost worked but it didn't because you had too much faith in God and they couldn't knock your light out of you I just keep hearing that no one could knock your light out of you they tried trust me they tried but the spiritual realm was also working to help you you know to free you from this this evil. So let's see what else is going on, guys. And yes, the past is going to come out. And as long as it comes out, I'm going to read it. If it offends you, don't watch it. Don't comment and don't watch it. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm here to help people and I'm here to read what comes out because there's a reason for it. There is a reason for it. So, you know, you guys are doing everything right. And I see you being blessed. I see you being rewarded for taking the high road, you know, staying in your highest vibration, not seeking vengeance, but, you know, focusing on, on love, on God, on the Lord. All right, guys, let's see. What else do we need to do? Let's do the mystical oracle. For the collective. If you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I am scheduling for this week. I have... I think two days left to schedule. Um, so schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. All right, let's see what we get, guys. For the collective, what do they need to know in the current energy? What's going on in the current energy? kind of came out on the fence um yeah somebody that you are no longer speaking to with talking in reverse um they could be going through a divorce a breakup this is somebody that now wants to chase you oh, 
the blockage is this person only cares about money. So be mindful. If someone from your past that was a runner is now trying to pursue you, it's about money. They're, they're having financial issues. This could be a twin flame or a false flame. This a warning. Yeah. This person, they need to, they have no self-worth. They've done no shadow work. And that's in reverse. They haven't done any work on themselves. It's, they're in the same dark energy. They have not changed. Yeah, this person is now heartbroken. Because whatever they went to isn't working out. Their plans failed. And they're, they're reminiscing, missing you, nostalgic. But I'm telling you, this person has not changed. If this is aligning with you, this reading, this person has not changed. Be mindful. It's another trick of the enemy. Yeah, they said cut ties and move on. Move on from this person. If you haven't met your high-level soulmate, they're coming in. As I say that, unconditional love is coming in for you. You must cut ties with past people to call in divine love. And I know most of you have already done that. You already done it. I know that. I read your comments. Yeah, they said set boundaries. Not today. Set boundaries with the past. They have not changed. This is another attempt of the enemy trying to suck you back in to destroy your light. Yeah, you're evolving and growing. You've healed your inner child and you're releasing the past. You've transformed. Yeah. See, many options, unconventional, one-night stand, and string-alongs. That's the blockage. You know, this person, they're non-committal. They're that Knight of Cups energy. They like to have one-night stands. They like to, like to receive validation. They party. This is not someone that would add to your life, add value to your life at all. They're not in alignment. Yeah, they only use passion. That's all they got. That's the only tool they got in there, and their tool chest is passion. They got nothing else. They don't even love themselves. They're, they're self-destructing. This person is self-destructing. Not only in the spiritual realm, but physically. They're self-destructing. This person could have heavy addictions, drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, whatever it is. Heavy addictions. Yeah, this has outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. That's in reverse. You're not replaying events. You see this person for who they are. There is no illusion in your mind. Yeah, you see them. They're wearing a mask and you know it. And then the backstabbing, it says heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, shocking, and attack. That's in reverse. You've healed from all of that. So this person can't cause you any more pain you're you're just like i know what it is i've seen it i've learned from it and i'm done with it you're not you're making healthy choices you're choosing to love yourself that's what you're focused on self-love self-care love of god yeah this person they took a gamble and that gamble lost they lost it was a bad gamble because you healed your heart and moved on. And this person thought you would always be there. This person screwed up. Yeah. Yeah. Watching. Looking you up. Spying. But it's over. It's done. There is no redos. You know. You, you see very clearly. God has given you perfect truth about this person. And and what it is you're meant to do. The light you're meant to be in. You're, you're not... You're just not interested. This person has a free will choice. They can remain in dark energy, destroy their life and their spiritual vessel, their spiritual, their soul, or they can evolve. But that's up to them. They have free will. You know, we can't force people to, I forgot to do this, guys. We can't force people to, uh, to change. They have to want that for themselves. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saint Spirit, guys, who's this reading about, please? Who's this reading about, please? Who's this reading about, please?
We have the letter B. We have HV. We have Leo. We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have Gemini. We have Sag. We have R. We have J. We have K. We have S. I. P. G. All right, let's get a couple advice. What advice do you have for the collective? Please, Holy Spirit. Pray like it's your job. Definitely in the world we live in right now, your only protection is that connection with the spiritual realm. You have to pray and you have to pray all day as much as you can. And it doesn't have to be formal prayers. Just talk. Talk to our Lord in your head. You know, talk to the angels. Talk to your spirit guides. Um, spend time alone at this time. And what do you care if people don't like you? God loves you and supports you. What are you waiting for? It's time to take action. That's beautiful. I'm going to get a couple from my deck. And see what we get. I am... Still selling this deck, $28.88, $10 shipping in the U.S. Outside of the U.S., you can um, email Mark, and he'll give you the, the rate he has to check. It's tashas.merch at gmail.com, all lowercase. Holy Spirit, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? Wow, that was a whole lot. So I'm going to take the one that was face up, which is ego death. Whoever this person is that's coming out in this reading is definitely going to go through an ego death because I've seen three towers. Three towers are falling for this person. You have a new opportunity and you're moving on. You see the person with the ego death, um, they either themselves are a false feminine or they're connected to a false feminine energy that was sent by the enemy to tempt this person. And they took the bait. Yeah, sleeping with the enemy. They were tempted. They tempted them with sex, with money, whatever it was. They took the bait. And now this person wants to reconcile, but you're moving on. You have your Ten of Cups or you're calling in your Ten of Cups, real divine love. A person that you can count on, that's, that has your same beliefs that you're aligned with. Yeah, whoever your past person is, they could have hooked up with this gold digger at work. It says toxic workspace and gold digger. They could have had a workplace affair, um... But it was, it was the enemy using this person to tempt them. And it worked. Yep, third party. It's a lesson. Karmic lesson. This gold digger was the karmic lesson. And now they're under God's wrath. Judgment. Both of them. Yep, they're saying remain connected to the spiritual realm. In prayer, meditation. Stay connected. That's your protection. Yeah, this person and all the people that they got involved, toxic friends to come against you, they are all going to go through the dark night of the soul. And I didn't even see the bottom of the deck working with others to create chaos and conflict. All of them are going to go through the dark night of the soul. Whoops, dropped one. Yeah, the reason they're going to go through this Dark Knight of Soul, these towers, is because they went against a light worker. They, they went against a spiritual law. They broke spiritual law. When you try to manipulate the free will of another, and God is putting them in their path and purpose, you are breaking spiritual law. There could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you or someone else involved. Yeah, it's confirmation. What I just said. You're a light worker and you were being guided on your spiritual path. These people, these karmics, your toxic past person, they were committing spiritual, a spiritual crime. They wanted to ostracize you. They wanted to knock the light right out of you. But you were protected. St. Michael was protecting you. Your prayers were protecting you. Wow. 
Yeah, you were protected from all this deception and betrayal and lies that were going around. And now justice is being served. Justice is being served for every single person that either knew about it or took part. Things are going to fall apart in their life. Finances, you know, uh, jobs, friendships, partnerships, losing homes, everything. Look, this is a whole party group. Addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, money. And you're this high priestess. You're receiving downloads and messages about everything. It's coming out. They're being exposed. For some of them, if they committed a crime, they're going to go to jail. They're going to go to jail. Yeah, you have your soulmate coming in because your prayers are being answered. These people could have done this against you. Now, this shouldn't surprise you. You This should conf confirm if you don't feel this, if you don't know this has happened, then this is not for you. You'll know if these things happened. Look, this is exactly why they're getting the tower. It's blowing up. It's cr Everything in their life is crashing and burning. What did I say? Job loss? Wow. All because they did this to you. They committed a spiritual crime. You could be seeing synchronicities. They want you to know things are about to change for you because you are worthy. You deserve everything that God's bringing into your life. All the beautiful blessings that's coming in. Wow. What I just said. They're saying these people that were slandering you, uh, spreading lies and hating on you, they committed some sort of illegal activity, some sort of fraud. Tell me about this fraud. Tell me about this fraud. Okay, immoral, no integrity. Tell me about what's going to happen with this fraud. What's going to happen? Whoops. It's a karmic couple. What's going to happen with this fraud? Yeah, they're fake. Yeah, okay. So I asked. They said, this person... This is a karmic couple, like we saw earlier. It's a karmic couple. They committed some sort of fraud, illegal practice. It was immoral what they did. Because of this, this person from your past that should have been a divine partner that was fake wearing a mask, trying to send you telepathic messages, the tower's coming. For you, they said, make a wish. A wish is coming and believe in miracles because a miracle will soon happen in your life. Yeah, it could be a new job or career, a new opportunity or an expansion. You have a lot of ancestral protection and the player's going under. Player came out in reverse. So this person's being exposed. They're being hit with a tower and you're moving on to, look, <laughs> you're the high priestess, very strong connection with the spiritual realm. You're very protected. And in the near future, you have divine love coming in. Marriage, spiritual connection. For those of you that are calling in divine love, can also represent a contract if you're already in a divine union. This can be a business contract as well. Um, but your ancestors are definitely helping you, protecting you, guiding you. Wow. All right, guys, this is the end of part two. I love you, and I will see you on the last reading. We'll get advice. Uh, see what you need to know moving forward. We'll get more of advice for the third one. All right, guys, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.